Hey everyone, we're back and talk to the captain. Whoops. Yeah, so we uh we turn in those two quests. We can go get to the docks. It's it's experience. Um <clears throat> I just realized I ran past someone out in the field. See, so yeah, we'll give her her note back. The note has a clue associated to it. Um, we read, we read it, um, or I read it in between. So, um, Avanda's note, uh, clipping from Avanda's memory, under spire, under floor, where the herald laid to rest, down the stairs, a hidden door, a key where flaming coals are set. Uh, I think that's that lighthouse. I'm gonna do this quest, well, that quest. Um... A little later. And like I said, I missed people, I think. Because there was a side quest. I believe they were... Right here? There's a door you can go in? I think I was just trying to run past, like, a group of ethereals. Um, some side questing. It wouldn't hurt this guy. Is he 94? He is. We can actually equip mythics now. Um, let's just see if we can polish off the, the main quest line. I really want to get that done with this guy, so I can, I can play him on stream and stuff. Also, I wouldn't mind trying to take down the boss before level 100. Just because it wouldn't be taking on the boss at level 100. I'm... Oh, that's a... That's a wall. <laughs> the Splash Road Archives can be pretty good. They're basically what is keeping my Albrex Aether Ray guy upright whenever he goes into the field. <clears throat> oh, right, the first event. Um, like I said, this is not continuing in depthiness on this playthrough. So, your first event you gotta destroy is over here. Of course, we're going to have problems with it because they put a Colossus in front of it. See, it's it shouldn't ever be one enemy also causes you to not be able to play the game anymore. Like, I've been handling everything else just peachy keen, just absolutely fine. And then you have one of these things pop up and I can't fight it. That's sort of the action RPG problem, though, right? Because we don't have, like, a dodge button or anything. So we, like, if there was a dodge button, if there was some sort of mechanic to avoid, like, hits and things, you could probably get away with an enemy or group of enemies that are like that. Break? Can I not break the vent because I have... Okay. That was weird. <laughs> Guess we couldn't break the vent because we had an Aether Lightning equipped. But yeah, like... Because action RPGs are heavily done on numbers. Not like a skill roll or anything like that. Or not skill roll, I mean like a skill dodge. Like you hit a button, you avoid an attack. You end up with, oh, the numbers on these guys are way too high for the average build. But they're not high enough for the OP build. So what do you... What do you 
what do you balance towards? Do you balance towards average or do you balance towards, well, you're just average, so you are going to have trouble on this. If you want to take them down quick, play OP builds. Like, there's that de sort of debate that... There's that debate over whether or not meta meta builds should be, like, meta builds. Like, well, you're not playing the meta, so you're going to struggle. Come out. Come out. Come outside. Come outside and play. God damn it. The stun on, on Volux, Volux Daria's meteor is insane. Like, I have, I have characters that have, like, 50% stun res, and that stun lasts for seconds. I mean, this guy's got... He's only got 20, you know, 17. So, yeah, I would expect him to be stunned for a while. But, yeah, characters with high stun res get stunned by that thing for a long time. The way you avoid it, by the way, is you run in a circle. You kind of you kind of got to get used to the timing on it. And then it's like, okay, it's going to come soon. So we start running in a circle. It goes way over there. There are three enemies with meters like that. Turnox has one. But Turnox is just damage. Oh, here it comes. I didn't... I wasn't paying attention to time there. Turnox has a meteor like that. Uh, Voloxteria here has a meteor like that. And then the A... The Aetherial Vanguard Nemesis has a, a meteor like that. His is practically a one-shot on pretty much everyone. So she'll she'll drop another piece of the Krieg set. Um, those three, Turnox, uh, Voloxteria, and not the Aetherial Nemesis. There's an enemy coming up that's the third enemy that drops pieces to that set. And here's a Devotion Shrine. Wait, we have all 55 with him, right? Oh. I think we were just, I was just like, I don't need the other point now. And I totally forgot about it. Well. Yeah, let's do this one, James. Let's do the one with the enemies that are gonna spawn that you dislike. Well, hopefully we won't get Colossi out of this. Is it Colossi or Colossuses? I personally prefer Colossuses because it sounds funnier. Oh, yeah. Of course we do. The only, the only thing that matters to me, actually, is if that heroic one that has the arcane ability on it pops up. Like I said, I don't mind arcane. I really don't. The whole thing about, like, Loxmere is... He has he essentially is an arcane mob now. But the whole thing with Loxmere was he could jump on you and kill you after nullifying you. And it really isn't anything that that is like that. With the arcane arcane modifier. It's pretty much stuff that's like, "Oh, it's a normal mob. It can just take away your buffs." And it makes it much much more manageable when it's just a normal enemy. When it's like Locksmere Nightmage, who's essentially a spellbreaker, who can essentially uh, shadow strike on you after taking away all your buffs that would save you from that shadow strike. Yeah, that's where you get some of the... That's where you get the problem. Yeah, so our event we need is right there. So to put the bed, the the tier list conversation, I um, I think we do need more time before we can lock it in. And there's always going to be like, oh, someone found this crazy build, right? Because I think the pyromancer is like that. Like up until, up until the pyromancer build was made, it was kind of a. 
It was a niche class, definitely. I mean, it still is a niche class, because it's basically just a damage dealer. Um, but it has, like, the one obscenely good build. And I think anything that supports the way the meta of the game is right now is going to be a strong class in terms of damage. Now, are there weak classes is another question. And that's up for debate as well. I don't think there are classes that are, right now, obscenely weak. I think there are some that are kind of on the low end, mostly because they don't have gear support. So, like, the Saboteur, I think, is going to be on the lower end. Yeah, we can't destroy that because we have Aether Lightning on. Luckily, we only have one more of those to break apart. Uh, Northern. I think it's over here. Like I said before, I don't have this... I don't have the map memorized for the new areas. Yep, so that's a Myrmidon. You know what we gotta do to Myrmidons? We gotta take them down. Looks like we're gonna have a couple, a couple of them up there. Because I believe um, this one, Onusteria Storm Touch, and there's another one that's like uh, an Aether Fire one, who uh, is here with Nullify. Um, <clears throat> and they're also considered Myrmidon classes. Luckily, they can't heal themselves. So there's always that. I think um, the Death Knight and the Defiler, which are the two things I want to build next, actually, are kind of... are kind of also maybe a little weak right now because there's basically no gear support for them. And there's a difference between getting gear support and being gear dependent. Because something like the, the Reaper, it's not really gear dependent. Something like the Spellbreaker is not gear dependent, but you definitely get you definitely get benefits out of having a specific set for that character. Like the the Mage Hunter or the Mage Slayer set definitely takes the Spellbreaker to another level. And it's very open to what your build can be with that. Because you can run it with Panettis, you can run it with um, like my character is doing um, Amarastas, you can do it with a, a Shadow Strike build, you can do it with um, Hell, you could probably do it with Albrex. I think my meteors are they getting stopped? But no, they're going in. I thought my meteors are maybe getting stopped by the ceiling. She's just a cold character, and we're hitting her with cold abilities. Oh, and there's a murmur down here. We have to get this dead first. Hey, hey, finally we get a finally we get um, a non-streamed legendary. No, I think we had Don't don't come near me, Aether Aether Tornado. I wanna look at this legendary. Aether Tornado, please! Okay, it's gone. Um Blood Rager's gem. Uh, yeah, take the Blood Rager and make it more bleeding, please. Ugh. So we're looking for... Yeah, we're looking for Northern Vent. I don't remember where it is. I honestly don't. There it is. 
That's not exactly what you would call north, right? That's more like west. But I think I'm maybe just being pedantic now. Um. Oh, that looked like a wall here, like in this square. And this is not where we need to go. <clears throat> yeah, we had to go back in this house. Um. So I think... Oh, it's on the ground floor, looks like. Okay, pathing. Just get... You! Blocking me! There we go. Um... What do you guys think? I, I can't think of any other classes that are, like, incredibly weak right now. There are probably some I'm not thinking of, because there's so many in here. Because just Necro Shaman and Inquisitor Arcanus are two I didn't mention. But I think Inquisitor Arcanus is actually going to be like A tier. Uh, for, mostly from a build diversity standpoint. Because you'll be able to run Panettis, you'll be able to run Kalidors, you'll be able to run Albrex, you'll be able to run Guns. There will be a lot you can actually run in the Arcanist Inquisitor combo. You can run Flames of Ignifar even. It's actually going to work with that. Possibly better than it'd work with the Inquisitor Demolitionist. Oh, um... I'll just loop around this way. Uh, I can't. Never mind. Okay. I, I can go through that building, but we'll just go top then. Um... Probably won't save time to go all the way down and then back up when you can just go through this mazy area. Nope. Uh, oh, this door? Okay. The secret to getting through this place is to not click on the stairs and narrow hallways. It's to click where you want to go. Okay, you weren't here before. And maybe, like, I'm going to do this on stream on Monday. So, technically, this will be available after. This is going to go up maybe two or three days after I do that. So, you may have actually already seen me do my my talk about tearing the characters out. Tearing the classes out. Because uh, I'm going to do it on stream. I'm also going to talk about the class combos on stream on Monday. So, I think those videos might already be up by the time this goes up. So we're going to we're going to continue this next time where we are going to try to beat the expansion. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.